Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you a really common error you're going to see when you work with Data Factory long enough. That's when you run a pipeline, and you get this kind of weird run failed error. And when you go to the actual error description, it's just this bad request and all null. So why is that happening and how do you fix it? Right? It's kind of a, a cryptic error. So I'm going to show you the two most common reasons this happens, and then actually how to debug it in a larger pipeline as well um, when you need to. So let's get right into it. I have this pipeline here, and if you saw that it just failed, you want to hit the validate, pipeline validates. But the reason this is failing, this is the first common reason, is when you go and name activities in Data Factory, make sure you don't have this extra white space. So you see I have an extra white space at the end of my name that Data Factory does not pick up in its syntax compiler. All I have to do to fix it is actually just click your backspace and then click your right arrow key to make sure there's no extra white spaces in your activity name. And then when you run this pipeline, it will actually run and work. Now, um, if you try to put a leading white space, it will catch it, but it does not catch the trailing white space. Just be very careful with that. That's the most common reason that I've seen. The second most common reason is this one, where you're setting a variable, and if you see here, Everything's fine. I validate. Everything looks fine here. Um, but then when I try to run it, I get that same error, right? If I go here, click on the end, click on my right arrow key on my keyboard, no white space. But the reason this one's failing is when you use the expression language, you have to be very careful about extra parentheses at the end. That's the reason this is failing. Now, if you see, if I put this up at the top here, Data Factory does catch the syntax error. But when you write long expressions, sometimes you accidentally add extra parentheses. And that's why it's failing. So if I remove that extra parentheses and then run this pipeline, it will run and actually work. Um, now, what if these are pretty simple examples? What if you have a, a way more complex example? And let's say you have 40 activities in your pipeline. To go through every single one would be very annoying and painstaking, right? So I have a pipeline here that has multiple activities. And to fix this, you can actually utilize breakpoints. So first, I'm going to try to run this. Right, we'll get that same error here. And if I try to validate it, everything seems fine. Um, but what you can do is when you actually click on an activity, you can use breakpoints. And that's this little red circle here. When you actually click this, you can cut off the rest of your code. And then when you're on debug, you can check if it's kind of in or around this block of code that it's failing. And since this worked, we see like that's this should be okay, right? So let me go to the next block, hit the breakpoint, cuts off the rest of the code here. And just runs this second, you know, these, these, this next block here, combined with the first, that's okay. We go to the next one, debug it. You'll see, since the pipeline is even running, that means it's it's okay there. <laughs> uh, and then go here, and then when we run this one, this one's also going to be fine because it's actually running. Okay, and then when we go here and try to run here, we see that it's actually failed. So what I've seen is when this happens, it's either going to be this activity or this block of code or the one before it. So anywhere kind of in this area is what's going to happen. So we can first check this one and just see, okay, is there an extra white space, right arrow key? There's no extra white space, that's okay. Click here. There's no extra parentheses. Okay, that seems okay. But if you go to this one here, you'll see immediately, oh, when I click the name, we have an extra white space right there. So if I hit that and get rid of that, I check. There's no extra parentheses. Okay, then I go and run it, and it works. So hopefully this helps you when you see that error, not to pull your hair out, and you can actually go and debug it and figure out why exactly it's happening and, and get it fixed pretty quickly. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for your time.